Welcome home friends. I am the little mass maid. This means I work for maths. But the great news is this. Maths works for me. Do you want maths to work for you as well? If yes, then you are in the right place. All you have to do is to pay close attention. Today, we will be looking at numbers. What is a number? A number is a count of measurement. This means we count things using numbers. For example, one ball. Two balls. One. One is the second natural number following zero. It refers to a single thing or unit. Our second example, two balls, is in the plural form. It tells us that the number of balls is more than one. That is why an S is attached to the word ball. Two balls. One, two. But the big question is how would we have known the exact number of balls if there was no figure or number before the plural word balls? For example, John has many balls. From the example, what number of balls does John has? I don't know because there is no figure or number that tells me the exact number of balls John has. And since the object ball is in the plural form, it may be safe to assume that the number of balls John has is three, or maybe four, or possibly five. Any of this number could be right, or maybe not. Now, let's go back and replace the word many balls with the word two balls to see if it will make a difference. Let us rephrase. John has two balls. What number of balls does John have? One ball, two balls. John has two balls. The number two provides answer to the question in quote. 
How many birds? Two birds. But the question is, what is two? Two is a number that is one more than one. One and one makes up two. What is three? Three is a number that is one more than two. One, two, and one more mix up three. Here is a number shot of the first 20 numbers. From our number shot, we notice that the number of balls increases by one as we move from one ball to the next. The number two is one more than one. The number three is one more than two. The number four is one more than three. So, what are the numbers that mix up all the numbers in the world they are zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine these numbers forms every order number for example, the number 39 is made up of 3 and 9. Why the number 50 is made up? of five and zero. But why do we need numbers or numerals? It is because numerals or numbers help us to know the exact number of things. It helps us to be precise. It helps us to count and measure things. For example, Princess Sophia has three dolls. One, two, three. The number three helps us to know the exact number of doors Princess Sophia has. In time past, people used lines or sticks to represent numbers. Such use of numerals is referred to as Tally marks. In the world of the tally marks, the number of lines or sticks tells us about the 
quantity of the number of things. For example, one vertical line represents the number one. So vertical lines represent the number two. Three vertical lines, one vertical line, two vertical lines, three vertical lines represent the number three. For vertical lines, one vertical line, two vertical lines, three vertical lines, four vertical lines represents the number four. However, the number five is represented differently in the world of the tally marks. Watch closely to see how it is represented. One vertical line, two vertical line, three vertical lines, four vertical lines, and a diagonal line across gives us five. The number five is made up of four vertical lines and a diagonal line across them. Let's now take a different example. This time we will represent it using tally marks. Here we go. One vertical line, two vertical lines, three vertical lines, four vertical lines, and a diagonal line across those four lines, making it five. Six vertical lines, seven vertical lines, eight vertical lines. This is how it is represented using tally marks. Aside tally marks, we have the Roman numerals. Roman numerals are made up of symbols. It involves using letters to represent numbers. For example, I represents the number one. I, I represent two. I, I, I represent three. I, V represent four. V represent five. V, I represent six. V, I, I represent seven. V, I, I, I represent eight. I, X represent nine. X represent ten. This brings us to the end of today's class. Today, we have seen in this class that numbers are used for counting things or measuring things. We have also seen that tally marks and Roman numerals are used for counting. Next time, we shall be talking about addition and subtraction. However, before we go, here is a little tax for you.
Thank you for listening. See you in our next class.